And Mother Shelby used to do it. What is the best time for the Hajjah? After midnight, to before Salat al is the best time. Recommended. And those who do that, they see the difference in their life. The way they think, intelligence. All these things are beneficial to a mankind. It gives the benefit to you, nobody else. You're doing it for yourself. And because Islam is for the betterment of those who would like to understand and closer to Islam, you are doing these things for yourself. And you'll see the benefit of that when in your own personality. Those are the things Islam has covered everything. They have not left anything unturned. In the incident of Karbala, you have seen Karbala has taught us many lessons. Many lessons. We had talked about yesterday how Karbala had thought not to be racist. Imam Hussain, how he loved John, a black slave. Karbala thought of the relationship. The biggest relationship of all is the father and son relationship. The brother and sister relationship. The father and daughter relationship. Friends relationship. How Karbala teaches Everybody, those who are care to understand Karbala properly, that it teaches. It's a school. It's a university. A, it teaches Islam. B, it teaches humanity. And on 4th of Muharram, which is today, Imam Hussain, Bambi Zainab, Salam Allah, have seen the, all the army of Yazid around the camp. She came many times to Imam Hussain and said, why they are surrounding us? What is going on? I don't understand. We are only 72 people. We're not even 72 at the moment. We're just only a few members of the family. Why don't you invite somebody to defend ourselves? And Imam Hussain, after many days of thinking about it, he knew what's going to happen anyway. He writes a letter to his childhood friend. That childhood friend, when they were young together, Imam Hussain and Habib ibn Madahir, Habib's father was a friend of Amir al Mumineen. And one day, when Amir al Mumineen was walking, and Habib's father Madahir was walking, what was happening was they saw these two children, Imam Hussain and Madahir. Habib, both are walking together. Habib is picking up the sand from those spot where Imam Hussain was leaving those spots and putting on his head. And Madahar was being a little bit perturbed. So why is it happening? Why is this child doing that? He said, he's showing the respect to, to Imam Hussain. And Imam Hussain said that he will help him in the battlefield. This childhood friendship will be very much alive in the days of Karbala. And that happened when he wrote a letter to his friend. He could think of one person. And he was a little bit older than that. He was some say 72, some some, some, some say 80, 82. But he was older than Mahmoud. When he got this letter, it was difficult for him to reach that letter. Historians have written the Kufa was besieged. No messengers were allowed to pass the walls of Kufa. Somehow these messengers had reached to the house of Habib ibn Madahir. When he gets the letter, he was having a dinner with his wife. And he sees the letter, and his wife asks him, what is the letter about? He said, it's about from, it's from my friend Hussein, who was in Karbala. I did not know where he was. he was. I thought he was lost. I haven't heard from him for many days. And I don't know how to reach him. Now I know that he is in Karbala and is in trouble. He is looking for my help. And I'm in two minds, shall I leave or shall I not leave? Shall I go or not go? And his wife got angry straight away. She said, give me your sword. I will go if you don't have courage that the grandson of Prophet Muhammad is asking for the help and you are in two minds. There is no room for thinking. If you can't go, sit at home, I'll go. And he said, no, 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 I was just tempting you. Of course I will go. And he galloped towards Karbala. He 
He reached Karbala on the 4th of Mahara. And every moment I am so happy to be Musafir. She got very emotional. She said, Sabir, you came to my help because I knew that you will come to my help. You are my childhood friend. See how Karbala teaches the friendship. And he said that I have, as soon as I heard that you are in trouble, my services are for you. And we become very closely with Imam Hussain during the days of Karbala, during the day of Ashura. He fought a brave battle, a brave battle. Fourth of Muharram, he reached Karbala. And somehow he proved that the loyalty and indeed found a place in Jannah by supporting Imam Hussain and sacrificing his life, dying on the day of Karbala, a death of martyr. The position of martyr, by the way, is very, very sacred in Islam. Islam pays the highest occasion, the highest respect to a martyr. That's why in all the battles which were fought for Islam, a martyr's blood has always shined in the light of success. Imam Hussain taught that the martyr's blood is not an ordinary blood. It's a very special place for martyrs, and it's not easy to become a martyr. Shuhadah Akalba. Habib ibn Mazahir earned that important place as a Shuhadah Akalba. And he fought a brave battle when he passed away by fighting. It was a time of between Zohar and Abd when Habib ibn Mazahir, because he was old, he was holding back. Now I'm saying was holding him back. But after Zohar, the situation has changed. We will look into the detailed aspect of Haftal, that how people have given their shahadat. Habib has given the shahadat between Zohar and Asr time. And when he passed away and he was helpless, he cried for Imam Hussain, Ya Hussain, come to my help. My childhood friend, come to my friend. My, come to my help. I'm leaving this world. I, I, I have no longer strength. This old man is fighting with a thirst and hunger of three days. Can you imagine these individuals? How can these individuals not be recognized in the history of Islam? These are the shining examples of the supporters of Imam Hussain. And inshallah, Imam Hussain will look into those people who remember the tragedy of Karbala in the same light as those people who have given their blood all these histories, throughout the history, by keeping the banner of Islam as high as possible.